So I changed my lifestyle in 2019, um, so much so that it would be too much to describe in one video. What I will say is that I wanted to accomplish something that was completely out of my comfort zone. And I did that twice. Then I wanted to run a marathon, not just any marathon. I wanted to run the London Marathon. And the London Marathon has been on my bucket list for decades. It's been on my bucket list since I was a teenager. And I completed that last year. See, the thing is, I have endurance. I discovered that since starting running over a year ago. I'm not fast by any stretch of the imagination, but I can keep going, I don't stop. I achieved so much last year. Last year was a big year for me, for my training. Uh, I fought to keep our family business afloat during the pandemic. And I reached two milestones in being vegan and also in being teetotal. Um, I'm still trying to think about how to make a video about these two subjects. They're, they're not easy subjects to talk about on camera. And last year, most importantly, I spent the entire year training for my first ever marathon. Most marathon training plans are about 15 to 20 weeks. I spent the entire year from the October previously getting ready for the London Marathon on 3rd of October last year. I made a video about that so if you want to watch it there's a series I made called My First Marathon so feel free to click on uh, on that playlist. Directly after completing something like the marathon where you spent so long preparing for it um, there's an overwhelming feeling of achievement but there is definitely a feeling of what to do next. There's a feeling inside of you know you, you've spent so long training for something, getting ready for something. It's a feeling I'm not used to, um, and it's a feeling where I wanted to do something next, which is why I spent quite a lot of time thinking about this. I'm back. Um, this is going to be, I suppose, my New Year's resolution video. It's the middle of January. I found the biggest and windiest uh, farmer's field. It's the middle of Jan. New Year's resolution videos tend to be at the beginning of Jan. Um, I've just been busy with work and other stuff, family commitments, stuff like that, to really get out and make it. Uh, I've also been busy with running and training. Um, it's been a few months since I finished the London Marathon and I haven't done a great deal since. I think that's probably a bit of a cliche. Most marathon runners probably ease off a bit, especially over Christmas. When you do a marathon in October, you've got the excuse of Christmas to kind of relax and chill out a little bit, which is kind of what I did. I kept up a, a few runs a week um, for the majority of the period, but nothing significant. Uh, and I went out earlier this week and did my furthest run since the marathon. So two days ago, I ran 10 miles. I've got my new GoPro, and with my new GoPro, I can see myself on the front of the screen, which is a novel experience for using GoPros. So new year, I've got new trainers to go with it, with my new year's resolution. Um, these were my old trainers, my old hokers. So they're done now. I've got new trainers, which I'm wearing. And these are my Hoka Clifton 8s. Uh, I've been recommended them. The person that recommended them to me is a good friend, um, a very experienced marathon runner, an ultra marathon runner. And he said to me that I want to get some Clifton 8s because they're made for long and slow runs. So that's definitely me, long and slow. So my challenges this year, um, I've got three that I'm going to do. They're all, they're all self-made in the style of all the videos that I did last year. My first challenge is going to be the 100 mile training week which is what I'm training for at the moment. I've given myself about 20 weeks to build up to it. Um, 100 miles in a week. The furthest I've ever run is 63 miles in a week. So this is gonna be a real, real challenge. And I, and I found that really, really hard. Challenge number two is I'm gonna go back and finish Yorkshire Three Peaks. So if you've been watching any of my videos previously, you would you remember that I made a bit of a, a fun video, which I actually regret if I'm honest. So, in the interest of honesty, I made a video about the Yorkshire Three Peaks and I didn't do it justice, I didn't give it the respect it deserved. And there's three of us in a six bedroom house. Very good. You two. What's in here? I wonder. <laughs> Who's in oh! here? I 
made a video that was fun, um, you know, enjoyable to make, enjoyable to be there and be part of with my friends. But actually when we went there, it was evident from watching the video that I didn't give the Yorkshire Three Peaks the respect it deserves. Um, it is a fun event, it is a fun challenge. It's not something which is one of the hardest things in the country to endure. Um, obviously there's the National Three Peaks, but the Yorkshire Three Peaks is definitely a challenge that I'm gonna go back and finish. And then the third challenge I've set myself is uh, another fun one. So because I ran the London Marathon last year, I really enjoyed running along the Thames. I really enjoyed being in London. A big part of my training, I run the Thames quite often. There's a path that runs the length of the Thames where I live uh, and I run it regularly. I'd like to run from my house to my mum and dad's house. They live in Bermondsey. They live very close to the docks. So I'd like to run from where I am here on the Thames in Essex along the Thames path, cross over the Thames at Greenwich through the Greenwich footpath that goes under the Thames. I've worked it out, it's about 25 miles. So those are the three challenges that I've set myself for this year um, and hopefully it will be something which will be fun. So yeah, I also wanted to make a point of saying that I'm gonna keep these old trainers. Um, I can't bring myself to throw them out. Just looking at them makes me wanna run. They remind me of running the marathon and it brings back really, really good feelings and emotions and memories. There are several reasons why I've decided to do my 100 mile training week um, challenge. The first main one is that I wanna have something that I need to train up to. So this 100 mile training challenge will give me the kick up the bum that I need to get out there and do all different types of training, not just the long distance, slow endurance running. It'll also give me the fast hill running, the fast short spurts, the 3K, the 5K running um, that everyone needs to do to, to be able to you know, achieve a challenge like this. See, the thing is, 100 miles isn't gonna be easy for me. I know that the first three days I'll probably be able to get through relatively quickly. After that, it will be a case of endurance. And that's where, you know, my training really does need to help me and kick in. I've made a script. You and I can weather any storm. See, I have a good friend who runs ultra marathons. He runs them regularly. And he gave me his running club's 100 mile training week that they use to build up to their 100 mile runs or races. And that training week was heavily back-ended. So when I looked at the training plan, uh, the first three or four days were in perspective, relatively light. Um, they, you know, they were still 10 miles plus, but they were relatively light where it was back-ended to the last two or three days, where the last two or three days were marathon distances. Um, and I don't want to do that. Um, I took that, I took that advice that I, I got off my friend. I looked at the training week and I thought, you know, I searched online for other people, for other examples where they've run a hundred mile training week. It's a thing, you know, a lot of long distance runners do the hundred mile training week as part of their regular uh, monthly or, you know, quarterly training. There's loads of examples on YouTube. And I found one particular video by a YouTuber called The Ginger Runner. Uh, and his video was particularly impressive. I found it quite inspirational, but I've started to see that quite a few of you have started commenting on my videos. Um, I always respond to all of the messages and I wanted to say thank you specifically to the individuals who have been leaving me kind messages. It means a lot. Um, they make a huge difference to uh, my, you know, my, my positivity. You know, please feel free to subscribe and, uh, and more videos will be coming soon. Um, thanks for watching. We don't need no more. So that's it. Seven miles, easy, quick, fun. But the train is done well. But I still miss my old ones. Does anyone else get attached to their old running trainers?